Hello guys, yeah, I'm sitting outside with Ariel and Kane, and I just wanted to talk about my mental health. Um, about three months ago, I really didn't give a shit whether I lived or not. I would've want, I wanted to be dead. I just didn't care anymore. I was giving up on life, giving up on everything. My mom was failing, and my mom had said to me, Treva, why don't you die with me? It's, it'll be less lonely for you. And I got angry at that point and I said, Mom, I'm only 52. I don't think I was 52 at the time. I was 51, I'm only 52 years old. And um, so I got angry and with that I started fighting for my life and I'm still fighting for my life. I have an eating disorder and it's taken its toll on me in a bad way. I've had colitis after colitis after colitis after colitis after colitis attack. It is absolutely ridiculous. I guess I'm just another number because I was a number when I wanted to die and I'm still a number and I don't want to die anymore. So I, I need a lot of prayer. I really want to get better and I want to be able to take care of my mom. And, and have a good life the rest of it and um the narcissism took me way 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 down but mentally that way i'm okay i i i'm over it i i get it i get it i get the discard i get all the shit i just can't deal with it anymore and uh, my son's been quite sick that's occupied me Making videos occupies me. Taking my dog for a walk occupies me. Sitting outside here, videoing, talking to you in nature is beautiful. It's very beautiful. And um, I'm going to continue to do this because this is me. This is who I want to be. This is who I am. This is who I'm going to be again. And I'm never going to forget who I was and who I am. Because I don't remember sometimes who I am or what I am or... I know I'm a mom to three, and I only know only one will talk to me. The other ones wish me dead. Whatever. Let it be. Because I don't care anymore. Right now, as far as I'm concerned, baby just comes to you. That's it. That's it. When you get a, hit a certain age, they're on their own. Bottom line. Destruction. They've destructed me beyond destruction. And I don't need that kind of shit in my life. Neither does my son Jacob or Ariel or anything else like that. So if anybody here... Um, feels like they can't do it or they just don't want to anymore, message me, call me, I'll put my phone number out there, I can talk to you 24 hours a day and I can help you and when borders open, I can help you from the states. I can and I will and I want to. So reach out to me because I had to reach out or I'd be dead. God bless. This is Ariel, she's sitting as patient as can be. Can you tell she loves the girls too? This is my breathing place. This is my breathing place. Yes, this is my breathing place. I breathe fresh air out here because God gave me this. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Say, Mama, I want to go for a walk now. Mama, I want to go for a walk now. I want to go for a walk now. Oh, you're staring at other puppy dogs. 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 Getting ready to go, and I'm going to end up where I am on the ground. I know you're wondering why I'm sitting out here with a mask on, with my dog and nobody around me. Well, it's very simple. We have an, a mask order here. I'm in an elevator, and I can't get COVID-19, or I'll die. I'll die. So, um... Ariel's trying to get on the run again. Oh wow. Anyways. So I I I'm wearing a mask to protect me and to protect everybody else out there, including you. The ones who won't wear a mask, you know? You guys. It's pure plain ignorance. Yep. Did you hear that? Ignorance. You don't give a shit if people die, do you? Just don't freaking give a shit. It's not just one age group, it's all age groups. I've ran into every single age group, they don't just don't give a shit. I do, so I'm wearing my mask. And if I could put one on my dog, I would. Yeah.
So wear your mask, please. Because I don't want to die. I don't want my mother to die. And I don't think you're ready to die yet either. But I know what? I'm going to heaven. Heaven's a beautiful place. And I'm going to tip you up so you can see. Oh, you know. Heaven is better than hell. God bless. Ariel. You know, you're too big and long to fit in this. Okay, I gotta get oh, tail. Corner to corner, Ariel. Are you watching for squirrels? <laughs> Ariel loves her squirrels and the birds, and she watches them with me, and she likes to bark. She's not gonna do that right now because she's spying out to see what she can see, and she'll take me to the ground if she sees a squirrel because she's one strong of a pup. Right, puppers? Puppers! Puppers! Where's Grandma? Where's Jakey? Where's Sue? Oh, 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 oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm gonna cut you off. Check it out. I made it through the horrific time of my life. And people, there's always, always help out there. Reach out. Don't ever, 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 ever think that you cannot reach out for help. You can email me. You can call me. You can message me. You can do whatever you gotta do. I made it through. I made it through. And so can you. Because you are worth it. You are important. You are loved. You are a child of God. And he also loves you unconditionally. Yes. When Justin Amen. Trudeau legalized marijuana, he did the best thing he could for many people. It gives you focus. It gives you pain medication. It's an anti-inflammatory. It stops the progression of cancer cells. It helps with Parkinson's and it helps with so many more things. I am not ashamed to say I'm smoking it. I am not ashamed to say I'm taking a pill. And I'm not ashamed to say that I give it to my mother. And I'm not ashamed to say that I should think that every person who's a narcissist should take it. My narcissist took it and he did a lot better. And he stopped taking it because, you know, nothing wrong with him. He's completely fine, perfect, nothing wrong. He's not a narcissist. He's not a, a gaslighter. He's just 100% perfect in every way, light and form. I'm sure he's got a new supply and I hope he's enjoying it because I don't care anymore. I just don't give two craps anymore about the person who said they loved me, who I believed loved me, who didn't love me, for better, for worse, richer and poorer, sickness and in health. I'm not out for money. I was out to have a, a life, a soulmate for life, a friend for life, a spouse for life. Not him. He wanted to just keep on running, keep on running, keep on running. He's gonna be a lonely old man one day and he's gonna realize that he gave up a great gal. He gave up his wife of three years, just like that. Why, he told me, he was afraid of losing me. Great answer, eh? Well, like and follow me, subscribe, and um, you can hear some more interesting things that are going on in my circle. There's lots, lots, lots. I just watched TikTok for like an hour, a couple hours ago. If anybody wants to know what it's like to die alone, you need to follow, I believe it's the Diaz family. I believe they're also Canadian. They lost their father with COVID. It's a very, very, very big eye opener. Is the squirrel coming to get you? I suggest you each and every Whoa. one of you, coming to get you. watch it. Whoa. Watch the videos. Because me down, I still see people who just don't Aye, give a crap about a mask. You're on guard. You hurt Those my arm. Innocent children <laughs> dying. Another bruise. 
parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, cousins alike. What is everybody waiting for? Come on, you want to be like this forever? I don't want to be stuck in forever. There's nothing open, nothing for kids to do. And if there is, what fun is it with four kids? Or you, people just want to just go, go, go. Like, as soon as... I mean, the mask is, is only protecting you so much. The mask does not completely protect you unless you're wearing an N95 mask. Like, what the hell are we waiting for? This is never going to end. And then we're all going to be dying because there won't be a world left. I know I'm flip-flopping all over the place, and that's just the way my brain does. So I need to take you back to domestic violence, domestic abuse, gaslighting, narcissism, anything like that. I'm out of it. I'm safe. But there's a lot of people who aren't. There's a lot of people living it, breathing it, seeing it every single day of their life every single day of their life and there is no escape there is no escape i escaped because i woke up and realized that i was being taken down hard and i was gonna lose my life i am too young to lose my life and i am done with the narcissist I am done being gaslit. I am done. And I am proving that to you right now because I'm happy. I'm doing really good. Ariel's doing super. I have some really amazing friends now. Hey, there are some that I'm very disappointed in. Oh, shit. But I forgive. She walked me. I do. Way. I love everybody. I don't even hate my enemy. I see Ariel's like pulling me like crazy. Holy crap, Ariel, slow the heck down. No wonder I get sore. <laughs> every night, every night I'm stiff and sore. No wonder she pulls me around and tugs me around and holy crap. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Anyways, let's go. Don't forget to like wow. and subscribe, people. Oh, my goodness. There she goes. I'm going to keep educating myself. And as much as I'm educating myself, I'm going to keep educating you, too. Find anything yet? you guys have all helped me immensely. And now I can help you with certain things because I'm well-rounded with education. And I have a lot of experience in things, too. And I'm also a nurse. PSW, excuse me, of... 30 years, and now I get to take care of my mom. Can't wait. Oh, crap, oh, she spoke to me down and chasing after a freaking squirrel. Her and her damn squirrel. My arm is on. She's on the tour right now. She's on the aerial. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl for running away again. Again. Again, again, again. She's took me down. Many times. It's not fun. It actually <laughs> so delicate and uh, I want to do a shout out to um, my counselor who's actually been providing me with food and I got a call today and they're bringing me some more stuff on Thursday do some last thing. My counselor Brian, he is amazing. This is my third time and he is one wicked counselor. Recommending, definitely. If anybody wants his name because I won't give it out here, I don't know then message me, like and subscribe too, because, hey, I'm gonna do it. I'm an Aries, and I'll never, ever, 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 ever give up on trying to succeed. Well, I hope you're enjoying this far. I am. I enjoy watching and making and creating and being productive and it's all honest and nobody's feelings get hurt because it's all in fun. All in fun. Now it is.